Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of 60 Seconds. Last episode, we got the secret agent ending. There are a total of four endings. We got one of them, so there's three more to go. I have no clue what the other endings are gonna be, but I'm also gonna try to get Pancake the Dog and Shirakov the Cat coexisting in the same bunker. So if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up, because here we go. Let's get the flashlight because we need Pancake. Water on the bed because why the fuck not? Give me that gun, son. Ba blam. Where's MVP Timmy? Where's the motherfucking MVP? There he is, drawing on the kitchen floor. Why the hell would you do that? There's a table right there. You can't sit down there. Okay, no more talking. We gotta keep going. Give me that and that. Oh shit, I was talking so much bullshit that I didn't get all the items. Okay, um, give me the med kit. Run. Oh, the radio's right there. Oh, fuck my soul. Whatever. Okay, but we are on a quest to get Kobe. one of the new endings and Pancake and Shirakov. So let it all begin. That didn't really flow, huh? Whatever. Who gives a shit? It's day one, mother suckers. That's all that matters. So we don't have the Cub Scout book. We don't have a radio. But we have our beautiful family and we have a well-stocked shelter. So let's do this shit. And we also got a padlock, some ammo, and some checkers. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, every five days, water and food. Gonna try to get Pancake and Shiriko, but I don't know if you can get either or. I don't know if you can just get Pancake, and then if you have Pancake, you can't have Shiriko. Or if you get Shiriko, and you can't get Pancake. But we are about to find out right now. So let me prepare to scavenge. And the trash can of ours is getting disgusting. Why is this so damn disgusting? Uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I guess we'll use that. Because if we don't do that, then roaches are gonna be in here. And then it's gonna be too crowded in the bunker. Then they're gonna get sick. And we can't be having that. But we are going to send out MVP Timmy. We're going to give him the gas mask. And I'm not going to clasp my hands together because Timmy is the motherfucking MVP. And he always comes back with the good shit. So I will never doubt him. Wait, Timmy's back already? Timmy, you dog. He brought back a radio. Oh my god, Timmy, I could kiss you. But I'm not a pedo. But you got the radio. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, actually, let's give him some of the good stuff. There you go. And then prepare to scavenge again. And fuck. We're gonna get roaches. I don't have the Cub Scout book or the little bug spray thing. So roaches? Yup. We got some roaches with some green shit on their back. Like freaking Shrek jizzed on them or something. I don't know how we're gonna get rid of them. But we are gonna send out Mary Jane. Put on the gas mask to cover your ugly ass face. And good luck, Mary Jane. Okay, it's day 11 and the military is trying to rescue us. But I think all the new endings tie to having Sherikov in your bunker. Instead of choosing yes like I did the first time around and got the secret agent ending, I'm gonna choose no. And I'm just gonna like alter between the choices and maybe we can get a new ending. But the music kicked in, the new soundtrack. So maybe Sherikov is here. Our favorite radio station stopped broadcasting. When we tried other frequencies, we found nothing but static. Are all of the stations gone? Maybe we should tinker with the radio. Nope. Anytime it says tinker, you say enough. You say enough bueno. Because if you say yes, say sayonara to your radio because they always seem to fuck it up. So never touch the radio when it's asking you to mess with it. Our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. How about no? Day 14. It seems that for every cockroach we squash with our boots, two others take its place. It's time to do something about it before we get completely overrun. Yes, I agree. Take the rifle and say, This bunker ain't big enough for the four boots. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. And Mary Jane's back. How you doing, beautiful? She brought back one soup, two waters, and that's about it. But you know what? It's day 15. Got to give them the good stuff. And there's a phone call, but we are not going to answer that call. Where the fuck is Sherikov? I'm going to need that cat to purr. I'm going to need him to meow. We stumbled upon the remains of a bandit shantytown or someone or something tore it down. Incidentally, amidst the rubble, we found a cat. Yes, it's Sherikov. Everybody, give a warm welcome to Sherikov, the evil cat. There he is. Sherikov seems to be fond of our checkerboard. Its favorite game during stretches of extreme boredom and silence in the shelter is pushing the checker pieces off the table as it gazes intently at whoever happens to be sitting the closest. The sound of checkers hitting the floor every 10 seconds is getting on our nerves and we're considering taking the game away. Should we let Sherikov play with the checkers? I've never gotten this scenario before. So let me say yes, because if I say no, maybe Sherikov is going to kill us in our sleep. So there he is. He's having a good time. Mary Jane and Ted seem to be annoyed as fuck. And Dolores. And Timmy is clueless as usual. 
As soon as we allowed him to play with the checkerboard, Sherikov instantly got bored of it. It did sit on top of it for a whole afternoon though, leaving us with no entertainment whatsoever. The selfish bastard. At least it didn't break anything. Okay, that's good to know. And nobody's gonna go outside. Or maybe somebody should go outside. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need the Cub Scout book. So let's prepare to scavenge. And if there's anyone who can rescue us, it's the government. No! I want the new ending, and I want it right now! While trying to pet the little devil, we found a piece of paper on its collar with an address scribbled on it. Could its previous owner still be around and worried sick? Chances are slim, but maybe we should pay them a visit, or at least whatever's left of them. So last time I chose yes, this time I'm gonna say no. Let me see if the cat gets mad at me. Please still be here. Okay, he's still there. He's looking at Timmy like he wants to eat the fuck out of him. And it says, the cat made a choice to stay here and will respect it. Truth be told, if the previous owner cared about the cat at all, they wouldn't have let it run away. That is true. Maybe they weren't very good people. Maybe they weren't alive after the nuke drop. Either way, very careless. Very careless. Very, very careless. And we stumbled upon a weird signal when changing radio frequencies. We're pretty sure that behind layers of terrible static and screams, we could hear a voice! A voice speaking in a foreign language. Oh dear, what if it's the Soviets? We should probably listen to it, but what about the children? Okay, so this was a new one too. I think these were the secret agents. I said yes. This time we are going to say no. And let's see if the secret agents are going to get a little bit butthurt. I hope they don't. And today is Michael Jordan Day. Hey! We decided to protect our delicate American ears and turn off the radio. It was unintelligible anyway. Okay, that's good. When we opened the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh air, there was a suitcase. How about you can stick that suitcase up your- Day 24. The wasteland is full of surprises. Like this man on the other side of the door, knocking and claiming that he is willing to offer a lot for decent ammo. Shall we trade? Well, I have some ammo to spare. So let me see what you got. It better not just be like one can of soup and one water. And Dolores is back. And we got... What did he give us? Bruh. One food. One can of food for some valuable ammo. What the hell was I thinking? I am el stupido. But Dolores brought back four cans of soup? Oh my god, Dolores. I would tongue you if I could. And she brought back a deck of cards. You are a freaking beast. And she brought back a suitcase. Oh, Dolores. I love you so much. So let's give everybody the good stuff. Nobody's gonna go out, and if there's anyone who can rescue us, shut the hell up with that damn military scenario! Day 26. The holes in our bunker walls aren't just big enough for rats. They can easily fit a cat. We noticed that Sherikov has been sneaking outside every other night and coming back in the morning. Maybe it found something edible nearby and likes to go out for a midnight snack? If that's the case, we want in on this plan. Should we follow it next time it goes outside? I think we should, because maybe Sherikov can lead us to the promised land. Yeah, just follow the sneaky cat. I think he is a secret genius. Where the hell is he? Sherikov? Sherikov took us to an old junkyard that's inhabited only by a lone resident. A self-proclaimed scientist living in an old bus converted into a lab to conduct his experiments. The doc seemed happy to have his pet back, although the cat showed no enthusiasm at the prospect. We exchanged some small talk, but truth be told, we were kind of in a hurry to get out of there. The scientist didn't seem completely sane. He mentioned something about escaping the wasteland into a spaceship. There we go. Okay, so maybe this is one of the new endings. I think we are on the right path, guys. The state of the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go out. After all, you only live once. I have how many cans of food? 7.5 and 7.5 water. That is a shit ton of stuff. So I don't think I'm going to go out. Enjoying the little things in life is important in any situation. So when Mary Jane found some seeds in the shelter, you know what, Mary Jane? Fuck your seeds! I'm sorry, but we have 7.5 cans of soup. I am not risking those seeds turning into, like, a human-eating plant because that has happened before, and people have gotten hurt, and we can't be having that right now, okay? Oh, Sherco's back. Hey, buddy. I recognize that meow anywhere. It's hard not to worry considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling to deal with the shelter life, but we can't lose hope. When we woke up today, we discovered that Sherikov somehow found its way back to our shelter. Does that mean it'll stay for good? We're not sure what exactly transpired between the little guy and its owner. We asked, but it wouldn't tell. Yeah, I'm surprised that Sherikov wouldn't speak perfect, coherent English to you and not tell you what happened. So it's only day 29, so nobody's gonna eat food, nobody's gonna go out. So, so far, so good. Day 31. Curiosity almost killed the cat. 
Sherico found a tiny wire sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Plaster and debris fell on our table, topped off with a big meowing furball. What is this thing anyway? Nobody remembers it being there before. The cat might get angry if we take away the wire, so maybe it's best to leave it be. Or should we examine that wire? I said that we should not examine the wire last time, I believe. So let's examine the wire. Or maybe I did examine the wire. Either way, I forgot. I don't remember. So what happened? It doesn't seem like we got anything new. We grabbed the cable and followed it to a rusty old truck parked in our neighbor's driveway. Upon entering the door... Oh, it's the secret agents! Oh, fuck me so silly! Well, I don't want that ending. I want that scientist shit to happen. Where's that guy? The agents who were spying on us are now at the door. Nope, nope. We are not gonna let the agents in. Go away! Me no speak of the English! Yeah, we're not falling for that top secret agent crap. They're just big phonies, yeah. Big old phonies. We told them to go straight to hell and never come back. Ooh, okay, I like that. Got some balls on you. Day 34. Open in the name of freedom! Came a shout from outside our door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people, probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open? I have a shitload of supplies. But you know what? We are going to open in the name of freedom! And hopefully they didn't take our shit, please. Please. Okay, they didn't. And the phone rang. What happened? They gave us two water. Okay, that's good. But why did the phone ring? I don't get that. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon. Well, don't expect me to answer that phone call. And I don't think that you can get Pancake once you get Sherikov because the opportunity hasn't even come up. So maybe it is either Pancake or Sherikov, which sucks because I want both of them, but I don't know that for sure. Day 42. When Dolores came back from that expedition the other day, she had a tiny scratch on her leg. A tiny scratch on her leg? I don't see shit. That is some horse fuck. It didn't seem serious at the time, but right now it's quite a terrible sight. If we don't do anything about it, losing one leg will be a minor inconvenience in comparison to what might happen next. So I gotta give up either the first aid kit or the axe? Oh, you gotta be tickling my hairy balls. That is bullshit. There's not even a cut on her leg. Are you serious? And when did she ever go on an expedition? She's been sitting with her arms crossed with Ted's thumb up her ass. I don't believe this shit. And where is the scientist? Come on. Come back to me! What was that? Did the radio static just stop for a moment? Let's try tuning in on that signal. Okay. At least we're not tinkering with it. Tinkering is bad. Tuning it is good. And did we destroy it? No. Everything is still Gucci. Okay. Some friendly souls on the radio was talking about a supply pack she'd lost during a trip through our town. We immediately realized she must have driven through our street. We rushed out and got to the package before anyone else. And we got two water, one food, Cub Scout book, med kit, and ammo? Oh. My. God. Whoever the fuck that was is a legend in my fucking city. That is so awesome, guys. I can't believe we did that. That is beast. We felt that we should do something about our interior decoration. The feng shui is really off. And there's something behind on the other side of the door. How about fuck all that noise? Wait, there's another cat here. Rad. Sherikov? Who the hell is that? Sherikov continues to occupy the fridge. Meanwhile, another cat somehow entered our shelter when we were asleep and ate some of our soup. We tried throwing the new cat out, but its claws are just too sharp to argue with. So now we have two cats. We have Rad and we have Sherikov. That is pretty badass. Wouldn't you know it, our dear Mary Jane keeps a diary. For some reason, she was hiding it in the scout book we keep in our shelter. We have no doubts what needs to be done right now. Each of us must be assigned a role and the diary must be read aloud. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. That is one way to fuck up a child by reading her deepest, darkest secrets. And what the hell is this? I got another achievement. Feline domination. We managed to read the first sentence. Then there was darkness and pain. Lots of pain. The diary is gone. Let's never speak of this again. We've been exiled from our home and overwhelmed by the sheer numbers of the furry beasts, unable to fight them for even one more drop of soup. Their claws and teeth are just too sharp for our soft flesh. We'll have to try our luck elsewhere. We'll miss the shelter life. Hope the little bastards are happy in our home. Are you guys freaking kidding me? A cat in a gas mask and his gang of furry little pussies kicked us out of our own shelter? You have gotta be shitting on my chest. But that is also one of the new endings, so it's cool. And it's also some bull that a group of cats kicked us out. You were driven away. 
Okay, well, I want to get that scientist ending. We happen to get a cat ending out of nowhere, which is pretty damn dope. So let me see if I can get that scientist to come through. Okay, this is where I think that I messed up, guys. So you know when Sherikov starts playing with the wire? I tried to follow where the wire goes. Let me click no so I don't follow the wire. And then let's see what happens. And also, Ted got kidnapped by a group of bandits as he was scavenging. So I'm not going to have him. We don't really want to risk pissing off Sherico by taking its toy away. We've already gotten scratched for a lot less. Let's just leave it be. That wire is probably useless. Okay. So we're not going to trigger the secret agent, so maybe we can still have the scientist in play. And there's some bandits outside, the ones that kidnapped Ted. We are going to use the axe, and we are going to chop some freaking heads off! Day 34, they are back. Fuck a duck, duck a fuck. This is some bull! I'm trying to get that scientist ending, and these bandits are up my ass. That sucks. Okay, so now we have nothing to protect ourselves. That is just great. And nobody's gonna go out because it says we've heard some commotion above, and we're pretty sure it's a band of raiders. So if I go out, I'm 100% screwed. And it says here, we welcomed a probably crazy supposed scientist into our shelter today. It turns out that Sherikov is not only an incredibly ill-mannered pet, but also the scientist's highly valued assistant, who he calls Dr. Sherikov. The cat's disappearance has left the doc struggling with his latest project. He expects us to help him out as compensation for keeping his helper away. The cat didn't care. It clearly wants to stay. The doc might be really crazy, but maybe his knowledge is something that can help us out in the long run. Yes, the long run meaning we can get a good ending. So we are going to do whatever the scientist says. And hopefully us and Dr. Sherikov can get the hell out of this bunker. Day 38. The cat wandered out of the shelter and returned with a small note from the crazy scientist, urging us to help him with his next project. He's building some sort of vehicular contraption, but gave us no details. He only wrote that if all goes well, we can use this vehicle to get out of the wasteland. The doc told us to start stockpiling for the trip, starting with several bottles of water. He'll come around to pick them up soon. I have seven bottles of their water, so we are going to help the good Dr. Sherikov and his scientist friend, and hopefully we can get the hell out of here. But I'm so scared about the raiders because if you guys check right here, it says, wait, what the hell is this? On our way back from the expedition, we noticed some drawings on a half ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map of our town and there was a marking with an X. Okay, so Mary Jane is pretty sick. She looks like absolute doodah. So we are going to send her out there. And if she happens to not come back, then fine. But hopefully she does. Okay, she did. What did she bring back? One bottle of the Watea. Okay. So let's give everybody the good stuff. And there's a phone call, but we're not going to answer it. I'm going to save all the water that I need for the scientist. And hopefully the raiders don't keep coming. Because like I said, the raiders are above us right now. Check this out, guys. It says, we've heard some commotion above and we're pretty sure it's a band of raiders. So we don't want to fuck with that. And the doc came knocking on our door to collect the supplies that he requested. They're an important part of the project, he said. We can trust him. After all, he's a doc there. Yes. We are gonna give all our what they are to the doctor. Day 43. A gang of the thugs started banging on our door, ordering us to surrender and give up all of our supplies. How do we respond to these scumbags? I say, please take Mary Jane. Don't take Timmy or Dolores, please. Okay, they took Mary Jane. And I'm not being fucked up, guys. She was sick anyway. Maybe she's gonna get them all sick and then they die of the flu or something? Come on, you gotta be optimistic here. Open in the name of freedom came a shout from outside our door. Okay, you know what? We are going to open in the name of freedom and hopefully they give us some stuff. Give us a gun or a padlock or an axe, please. They didn't give us anything? They gave us two waters. Yay, cool, thank you for that. And no bandits, yes. Timmy and Dolores and Sherikov, you guys got this, come on. We gotta Kobe this shit. I believe in you guys. No raiders. That is the motto. No raiders. Let's go. The mad scientist has asked for one of us to join him in his lab for an experiment that's apparently vital to his project. We don't really know what to expect, but he says it has for research on wasteland diseases. Is this something we want to take part in? Who's the best one fit to survive a mysterious and potentially dangerous experiment? Wait, maybe if we send like Mary Jane to him, then she would have became mutant Mary Jane. But let me see if I can get mutant Timmy because that would be boss. Having a mutant son? 
I would love that. Our volunteer has temporarily left the shelter to help build a badass rocket that we can all use to get out of the wasteland. Let's hope we're not just wasting our time. Okay, it's day 48 and somebody came over trying to exchange supplies. I could really use the padlock right now, but I don't have the gas mask. All I have is the suitcase that I can exchange for ammo. I guess I can do that, but if I don't have any weapons, then I have nothing to protect myself. But Timmy's back. Timmy's back and he's a little bit crazy. Why the hell are you crazy? Timmy came back from the mad scientist lab. He's very confused. I am so sorry. I am so sorry that I made you mad and confused. And now there's bandits at our door. Okay, you know what? You can take my crazy ass son. Just don't take Dolores. And we made it to day 50. And the phone rang. What happened there? Okay, they took Timmy, which I'm very sad about. But there's a ring, but we're not going to answer the phone call. Please, scientists, please rescue me. This will be so clutch if you can get me. All I have is Dolores and Dr. Sherikov. I can't take it anymore. My heart is pounding so fast. No! No! God, no! Come on! Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, I was so close to getting that freaking scientist ending. You know what? Fuck that, guys. We are going to get the scientist ending in today's episode right here, right now. So let's get it. Okay, I'm starting a new run. I'm still trying to get that scientist ending. But I've never gotten this scenario before. So I think that we should go through this together. It says, A sleazy-looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulder paid us a visit. He offered us a simple one-time deal. For just one can of soup, we can get the bag in all of its contents. We can't see what's inside, and the trader gives us angry glances every time we take a step towards the mysterious bag. Should we make a deal? For all we know, it could be a giant steaming pile of dog shit. But you know what? We are just gonna see. We're gonna roll the dice, and hopefully we get some good stuff. Wait, Sherikov? Was it Sherikov? As soon as the door closed behind the trader, the bag started to violently shake, emitting screeching, hellish sounds. Terrified, we backed up against the walls. When the beast finally escaped, it turned out to be just an angry house cat. Oh, so it was Sherikov. So you can get Sherikov from venturing into the town, or you can get Sherikov by a trader giving it to you inside of a bag. That is pretty cool. Okay, guys, I kid you not, I've been playing this for over two hours now, trying to get this scientist ending. I haven't gotten it yet. I've played this about seven or eight times, but I think I'm on the right track now. And right here it says, we played a game of list the things you hate the most, and our neighbor's name kept coming up for some reason. That reminded us that the little weasel had a safe in his living room. We always wondered what's inside. Maybe now's the time to finally find out. But who will do the honors of stealing the possessions of our arch nemesis? You know what, Ted? You got the nice combed over hair. Well, actually, Actually, now you have a beard and some scruffy hair, but you have the honors of stealing all that stuff. And what did we get? Da -da -da -da! We got a radio. Cool. We marched to Ned's house and found the safe cracked open by the blast. Most of its contents were destroyed, but we still salvaged something out of it. Cool. And Ned was nowhere to be found. And also, I want to say something, guys. I don't think that you can get Pancake and Sherikov in the same game because I was doing all the scenarios to get Pancake in the bunker. And right before the last scenario, the Sherikov scenario popped up. And then right after I got Sherikov in the bunker, there was no more situations for me to try to get Pancake. So I think you either get Sherikov or you get Pancake. I don't think that you can get both. I don't know for sure, but I'd played this a few times and every time that Sherikov came up as I was doing the Pancake scenarios, it just completely completely disappeared once I got Sherikov in the bunker. So I don't think that you can get the dog and cat in the bunker. But I'm trying to get the scientist to contact me again. The mad scientist had asked for one of us to join him in the lab for an experiment. There we go. Okay, so now I have Mary Jane. Maybe this will turn her into a mutant because when we sent Timmy last time, it just made him insane. Maybe it's gonna turn Mary Jane into the purple beast that we know and love. Day 50, all hands on deck. There are people on the other side of the door and they don't seem too friendly. In fact, they promised us a painful death at least 17 times already and it's only been five minutes since they arrived. We'd better prepare. They'll be forcing that door open any minute now. Not on my watch. Just put that padlock on, bada bing, bada boom, and they're out of there. And Mary Jane's back. But she is crazy and she's hurt. She is not mutant Mary Jane. Okay, so I guess no matter who you send, they're gonna be all injured and they're gonna be insane. Well, that sucks. Day 53, the bandits are back, but I still got a gun, son. So get on out of here. And now I have no more weapons, but I have the scenario where the mutants are gonna help me fight off the bandits. So I have one more before I start losing the family members. So hopefully the scientists can rescue us before all that. We could use some extra supplies. The last time we went on a supply run, we noticed a damaged tank stuck in the rubble nearby. Nope, 
I remember I did that scenario and like 9 out of 10 times the tank explodes and kills whoever you send out. So that's gonna be a no bueno for me. But it's day 55, so let's give them that. Day 56. Someone is at the door. We cannot hear what they're saying, but they have been banging on it like crazy. Maybe it's good news, maybe it's bad news. Should we open the door? Okay, guys. I'm gonna cross my fingers, clench my butt cheeks, harden my nipples. Please be the scientist. Yes! It's the scientist! And just the scientist! The crazy bastard is sending us towards the stars. Who knows if we'll reach our destination? To be fair, we're not sure what our destination is. The doc didn't tell us that. He kindly offered to take care of our shelter until we're back. Where we're going, we don't need journals, so we decided to leave our notebook behind. Whoever reads this last entry, wish us luck. We hope to be back one day with tales of great wonder and lots of soup. We spent 57 days in the bunker. Okay, so we sent the family off into space. The doc is happy, Dr. Sherikov is happy, and your fate remains unknown. So wait, was that not a good ending? That was like an ambiguous ending, huh? Because we don't know if they survived in space. But maybe we'll see them in space in the 60 parsex game. But I got the scientist ending, so I'm happy about that. I've been recording for over two hours. I was like, I can't let the Cub Scouts down. I gotta get this scientist ending. So we did it, and I'm happy about that. If you guys want to see me try to get the fourth ending, I have no clue how I'm going to get that. Make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!